New on the night beat, communities across South Texas drying out and assessing the damage from Thursday night and Friday morning's severe weather. In Floresville, one of many towns that suffered damage from tornadoes. We spoke with one man caught right in the middle of it. He and his family counting their blessings today. I have a few open pictures here. Does anybody have any pictures? Vanessa Morales, her sister, and their children sorting through what's left of their father's possessions and RV, which sat squarely in the middle of Friday's Floresville tornado. A hell of a ride. <laughs> I'm sorry. Roland Galvan fighting back the tears as he recalls yesterday morning. It was it was kind of hectic night, I guess. He got up to use the restroom around 6 a.m. and heard a loud whooshing sound as he closed the door. It pushed me away from the from the rest of the trailer and it knocked me over and kind of head first and I wound up in the damn closet. The jolt dislocated his right shoulder and left him on his back, staring at the sky for almost an hour before first responders were able to find him. I was just hoping that that you know the whole damn thing wouldn't fall down on top of me is what I was thinking. It's overwhelming. It's very overwhelming. His daughters say Galvan is a tough man. He bounced back from a stroke a few years ago and they're grateful to a community that helped without being asked. My dad had a friend back here who he, she came yesterday and gathered up all his all the stuff she could find to make sure that it was safe and she, we came to visit her this morning and she was just elated to see him. Gavon will live with his daughters until he finds a new home.